Much of this journey is a carefully choreographed exercise in rebuilding trust. Happy crew members boasting about safety on a flight where journalists and bloggers were invited to capture it all. I have the utmost confidence in the safety of this aircraft. As a matter of fact, my wife is on board. Boeing's 737 MAX planes were grounded following two deadly crashes, which led to scathing revelations about the company's decisions and industry safety practices. After a redesign, new software and training, regulators deemed these planes safe. I would fly in it again. I probably wouldn't really bat an eye towards it. Um, it was probably the best way to do it, uh, not knowing and getting it over with than, uh, than knowing and being fearful of it. 346 people were killed in separate but similar crashes. The first off Indonesia in October of 2018. The plane's software malfunctioned, forcing the aircraft into the ground. It happened again five months later in Ethiopia, a crash that killed everyone on board, including 18 Canadians. Chris Moore's daughter, Danielle, was on that flight. She was always happy, hopeful. Um, she had a beautiful sense of humor. Moore does not trust Boeing or the U.S. agency that deemed the planes safe. He cites investigations by American lawmakers that found Boeing not only failed in its design of the plane, but embraced a culture of concealment, while the Federal Aviation Administration also failed to do its job. It's not right. It's not fair um, for the flying public, too, um, because safety is paramount, and I don't think they take safety um, responsibly. The Boeing 737 MAX remains grounded in Canada, though Ottawa is expected to follow Washington's lead and give Boeing the green light in the new year. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.